everybody stops off there for a while. And, uh, and I get these um, messages from uh, ladies who truly love Jesus. And they say, we are going to such and such Asian country. I won't tell you which one. And we're going to help the girls who've been rescued from slavery for two weeks. And I think, oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. You see, the first thing our men say, or our girls, we're currently housing uh, between two and three hundred. The first thing they say to visitors is, when are you leaving? In case they get disappointed. And it's one thing to rescue someone out of a brothel. It's one thing to buy someone's freedom. And it's another thing to stay and love them. Oh. Grow them up. And be there. Well, that's what your kids had, wasn't it? Not, hallelujah, they're born. But God has entrusted this life to me. And I will look after this life. I will love this child. I will love them better. We have a, a scripture from Zechariah, which is a, one of the captioned passages this week. Chapter 8. Chapter 7, sorry. When uh, the Lord is asking the people of Israel what their fasting and feasting has been about. Has it been about them or him? And then he finishes up. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Administer true justice. Show mercy and compassion to one another. Do not oppress the widow or the fatherless, the alien or the poor. In your hearts, do not think evil of one another. Now, it's a very interesting thing that there's a, a modern phrase uh, which, forgive me, you, it may even be on your pamphlet. Um, it may even have been on your publicity material. I'm not sure. It tends to pop up rather frequently these days. And I came here because it's about go and uh, a lot of the current uh, publicity materials about mission then put another little phrase afterwards which is make a difference now I have a problem with make a difference I thought the scripture said go and make disciples and making disciples takes time. Getting people born is quite quick. The, 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 